Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to part two of Family Curse. Um, it didn't exactly start me here, it started me back in the other room with the music playing. So I've turned that off, I've come here, and the door closed again. So, <laughs> here we go. <sighs> what, a <good> way. <laughs> what a good way to start. Hmm. supposed to do anything with that it's just upside down um. expect oh now it will wouldn't let me do anything with it before uh, let's get it ran Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> let, me, let me get it up the right way. <laughs> Barnt Edward Adams. Barnt? Barney? Barney. Barney Edward Adams. Now, that lock on the shed outside had three letters. So I wonder if B-E-A is the code for that one. We shall see later. Um, right. Well. Oh. Interesting. Nice letter opener there. Um. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Hello. something in there I've got to get, but how the hell am I going to get it? Um, do I try anyway? No. I don't know why. not what I signed up for. <laughs> oh jeez. Look. Uh, enter. Oh, 
hello. You get a girl that was. Oh my god, I don't want to go in there. Okay. Oh, you. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> it's not at all freaky. Oh. I'm just trying... Just trying to see if I can see her. I think I can. I think she's on the floor, but I can't get close enough because of that. Maybe I can... Maybe I can go back in that room. Oh, hang on. What room? Um, door. Is that a painting or a mirror? Chair on the ceiling next to a lamp. Okay. Oh. Chair on the ceiling next to a lamp. This makes perfectly good sense. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> it's a bit of an unsettling game, actually. Hang on. If I click it, so I click that. Ah, the bear. Well, we will take that. Yes. Um, yes. Um, now what? Q. Okay. Now, because of my fantastic sense of direction, <laughs> where was that exactly? Now, I'll just check. No other little markers. Okay, so now we're in 
completely different location. So this was the bedroom with the record player, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, one thing at a time. Uh, was the other building up? The other one was upstairs, so it must be down here. I'm not even going to look there. Or am I wrong? Yes, I'm wrong. I think it might be down here. The picture was, wasn't it? It was here. So... Aha! Uh -huh. So, I have a key. Combination lock key. So, uh, does that go in here and then you've got to do the combination? I think so. So, let's say 4672. them oh, you just click on them four six seven two no <laughs> Seven six two. Who knows? Mm, nope. Um. Why is it so difficult? Am I missing something obvious? They are different shapes. Um, let me have a look at the, wasn't there a thing on the wall? No, not really any shapes there. There's nothing obvious that I can think of. Nineteen fifty. 1832-1840-1870-1780 so seven seven four two six no <laughs> Don't understand. Okay, well, we can only, I'll try a few things. I might have to skip a bit of this until I get it right. The video that is. Okay, let's try this time. Um, Ah. 
Ah, it was there ages. Just in case anybody's wondering. That only took me about uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> right, now, what am I in here for? It doesn't, ah, oh, over here, of course. Don't like, I'm going to face this way. <laughs> Doctor said that the treatment does not help. Lily is getting worse every day. I don't know what will help us. We tried all the options of traditional medicine, but it didn't lead to anything. Hmm. Today, a neighbour, Miss Dawson, bought some, brought some healthy, uh, sorry, some herbal tea, and gave them to Lily. She immediately felt better. I don't know what it is but it really works. Miss Dawson appeared in our city about six months ago. I don't know each other well. We don't know each other well, even though she lives next door. After learning about our sorrow, she said she could help us. Hmm. Today, Lily is worse again. Herbal tea no longer helps. Miss Dawson said, there was something that could definitely help us and brought a wooden idol. Yeah, of course. She said that this ancient deity is a relic of her family and a rite of purification from the disease should be performed. God, I'm tired. I don't care what to do anymore. I'm ready to believe anything or everything that can help what can help? I'm ready to believe everything that can help to Lily get better. Of course. Today, Miss Dawson performed the purification rite. After that, she handed us a wooden idol and said that we should protect it. What can happen to this piece of wood? This is unlikely to help. Our family is in the lap of the god. Amanda and I pray every day. Lily weakened after the ritual and slept all day. It <laughs> sounds like me. <laughs> I can't believe it. Lily is getting better and right before our eyes. The pain passed and she's got an appetite. She has never eaten so greedily. The buns that Amanda bakes. This is some kind of miracle. Even the colour of her skin has become healthy. If this purification rite really helped, then we are deeply in Miss Dawson's debt. Hmm. It is unlikely that I'll keep this diary. Lily is completely healthy. All the tests are normal, and the doctors are surprised. They do not understand what is happening because Lily's disease is incurable. But the child is completely healthy. We can't tell anyone about the right. Miss Dawson warned us that everything must remain secret. And who will believe us? Doctors are people of science, not superstition. Oh, well that's a nice picture. Something strange has been happening to Lily lately. She became very aggressive. Today my daughter killed her cat. Yeah, well... That's not normal. I noticed that after the rite, it was if she'd been replaced. Even the look has changed. Sometimes I'm scared to look into her eyes, as if it's not Lily looking at me from them. But something terrible, some evil that hides in my daughter's body. Yeah. There better not be a jump scare at the end of this. I met Father Crawford secretly at church today. I told him everything that is happening to us. Even that Lily had killed a man. A man? What? <laughs> she chewed out the throat of Miss Jane. What? Miss Jane's a man? Who helped us around the house and then smeared all the walls in her room with her blood. <laughs> Father Crawford. Crawford promised not to inform the police. 
and to come to us tonight. He suspects that the purification rite of Lily was actually a ritual of diabolizing. Diabolizing? Father Crawford said he could help us, and then I have to tell the sheriff everything. God help us. The fears were confirmed. A terrible evil lives in Lily's body. Father Crawford does not yet know what kind of demon is sitting inside Lily, and to expel it, you need to find out his name. I'm going to have a serious talk with Miss Dawson. After healing my daughter, she accused us, accursed us. Today, Amanda will take David to an orphanage ah, in North Carolina and leave him for a while. It's dangerous for him to be near his sister right now. We'll pick him up after we perform the banishment ritual. I hope it won't take too long. Yeah, so that's what happened to me. Uh, why didn't that go forward? Ah, uh, because I have to exit. <laughs> I don't want to exit, but I'm going to. Ah. Oh. oh, that's all right. So, ah, oh, missed it. Bloody hell. I think he must have just said, so that's what's happened to him. Oh, there's another thing over here. I'll just come around here and grab that. It's another key. Basement key. Okay. Why are all the phones off the hook? And why do I feel short? Am I crouching? No. <laughs> um, basement key. Okay. Is this the basement? No, it's not even a door. I can't open it. It's got no thing there. Where's the basement? Um, uh, see, breakfast is still on the table. Um, Turn the lights on yet? No. Ah, oh, the basement. That thing outside. But what I might do is check out that shed. Now, before I do. Let me go to my thing. Was it BEA? Yeah, BEA. guess that wasn't the answer. B. 
PEA. That's what I thought it was. Oh well. Let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was written on it. His initials. BEA, yeah. Oh well. It was worth a hunch. So the can I get in here now? It doesn't look like it's no, it doesn't even have a lock on it. Okay. Right. So basement. It must be in this room. A tool is needed. So that's probably the way to the basement. So I'm clearly missing something. Well, I've looked around upstairs for like another 15, close to 20 minutes. There's nothing. So I've come back here again. Um, it's, um, D, E, no, no, go back. A. Huh? Huh? Nothing. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. You had to press that little circle with the mouse pointer. Well, that was a bit slow and dramatic. What's going to happen in here, I wonder? Anything good? Another tool, please. Ah, oh, come on. There's got to be something in here. you going yeah I'm just gonna pick this tool up hope you don't mind yeah well, you need to bang it harder <laughs> mind you I don't want to go out there while well she said <laughs> Stuck. Yeah, well, you stay there. I'm just going to go on ahead. Okay. Very good. Most impressive. <laughs> right, so I was thinking it would be a crowbar, but an axe will do just as well. Ah. Oh. Dinner's gone. <laughs> right.
Very good. Can I have the axe back as well? Do I get it back? Please say I do. No, I don't. <laughs> it's not much fun. Okay, come and get me, jump scare. The door is locked. Yeah, well, I've got the key, haven't I? Great. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, I've been recording for a long, long time, and I don't know how much that's going to be edited down. So maybe this would be a good place to um, to leave it. So I think I will. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll, looks like we'll see you in part three. Bye.